I got on the set today. It's a very uh, it's a dark day in Kenya's history. Nine deaths, lots of destruction, lives lost. We can't stand that. And we have to talk about it and find out the way forward. Narok Senator Ladama Olekina is in the house. And former Kakamega Senator, now Secretary General of UDA, Cleophas Malala. Join me here on the bench. Gentlemen, let me go to you, Senator, first. You were saying, I mean, it's a dark, dark day, isn't it, today? Let me, let me first start by saying brick wall to brick wall leads us into a collision. The position taken by this administration is one which will get every Kenyan worried. This is not about Azimio anymore. Raila Molo Dinga did not go to the streets today. Kenyans are tired. And that is why they went to the streets to demonstrate peacefully, but they were provoked by goons hired by this illegitimate regime. Why do you call it illegitimate? I call it illegitimate. The, the, the I call it won. illegitimate let's, you know, let's debate. It. He won the elections. Uh, that, is, that is a subject for uh, discussion. But why? It went over because the Supreme even if you went to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court ignored basic things. Please, Jeff, don't take me back there, because you know, you know what happened. Why don't you admit you know? that you did lose I would never admit. I'll never admit. And you the were truth at of the matter. Of Kenya. Yes, I was. And we are not taking me back to that debate of Bombers of Kenya. We are here because of a different debate. Because of all the ills of this illegitimate government. You cannot call this and government. I will never call it a legitimate government. And soon we will prove, we'll prove that it's a legitimate government. The moment we hit 15, 15 million signatures, then I would not even have to convince you. I'm going to get to the signatures in a moment. But first, I, Senator, uh, let me ask you, SG, yeah. nine lives lost. All that destruction today, was it necessary? Uh, first of all, I want to send my heartfelt condolences to the families who lost their beloved ones. Today morning, they woke up knowing that they are going to nurture their children to become engineers, to become uh, doctors. Sad enough, they are sleeping with corpses as family members. It's quite a sad day. Second, I want to celebrate the teachers of this country who woke up in the morning today, went to school, risked their lives to protect our children who are in school. Yeah, but you saw in Kangemi what happened. I saw You that. saw in Kangemi. I saw that. Was that saw, necessary? And you saw, you saw teachers who were even rescuing the children. They had no choice, but you know, exactly. it didn't happen. And, and that, is why, that is why I feel very bad when my colleague degrades teachers. Oh, when did you mean teacher? Well, well, in his opening remarks, uh, uh, he Jeff, said, you know, he Jeff. called me a drama teacher. This, Jeff. You know, you know, you Jeff. know, you know. You let me, let me, Jeff. let me, let me educate this young Jeff. boy. I'll Jeff. tell you something. Jeff. And you see, it is completely you see. hypocritical yes. for him to come out here and and and, free, uh, and, and, and uh, preach and say that and play the saint. And you see, Yet his government, where he is a secretary general of the government, where now, illegally, he sits in the cabinet, is the one that you gave know, the orders know. to shoot. It is the, the same government that went who and, who and gassed. Who gave no, the no, orders to shoot? Who gave the Jeff, Come Jeff, 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 Jeff. Listen, Jeff, there's no longer an independent police in this country, OK? Because if you know, most of our bodyguards were recalled. That is ludicrous. You do not, the police has got to be independent. It's no longer independent. You know, let's not lie to each other. Yes. This yeah. guy, this guy, let me tell you, he's coming here to play the saint, to play the saint. But really what he's doing is that everywhere he goes, violence follows. Everywhere he goes, violence follows. You know, it, yes. Is, yes. Yes. it, is, it is hypocritical. Go on. Jeff, I, I, I don't want us to narrow this discussion today to a battle between who is right, who is wrong. I want us to be empathetic with the families that lost their beloved ones today. It is very bad that the supporters of Olekina have lost lives today. And he's not even commenting about it. He's not even sympathetic about it. Give me a break. He's, coming, he's, coming, he's coming directly to this show to try and want to interpret whether I am legally or illegally in office. It is not about me, Olekina. It's not about you. It is, it's it about, is about the young lives. The government who Killing. you mobilized Those people who are killed him, by him. people who are masquerading let as him. police okay. officers. Let him finish. Uh, okay. uh, second, uh, Jeff, it is not about who wins this conversation or this battle. It's not about Azimio or Kenya Kwanza. It's about 
the future of this country, the presidents we are setting as leadership in this country. Today, it must be known that this is the high peak of tourism in Kenya. In a few days to come, we are going to have the wild beast migration yeah. in Narok County. Mm -hmm. The Senators County. Thousands and thousands of tourists are coming into Kenya. The gateway to our country is JKA uh, uh, Airport. The road that links Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Narok is our superhighway. It is sad to see Olekina mobilizing people to destroy and vandalize the very road that is taking tourists to his people. Jeff. It is sad Jeff. to Jeff. see. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Really, it is sad. And today, today morning, I was, today, I was surprised. And go to Olekina's Twitter handle. He was recording a video celebrating that businesses are not working. So while his electorate, the people who voted for him, are in Masailand waiting for tourists, Olekina is in Nairobi. <laughs> Uh, uh, destroying the very highway that is taking the tourists to his people. Olekina is celebrating on Twitter and dancing on the very graves of, 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 of his people who are waiting for economic liberation. Okay, and, therefore, and, and therefore, Jeff, and therefore, Jeff, Jeff, let, Jeff no, we, want, we, want, we, want, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want. No, 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 let me, this is what I said. Well. Next time, don't bring me to debate a boy who doesn't understand what leadership is all about. Jeff, I was in Narok, walking in the streets of Narok peacefully, and no one, not even a single person, was hurt. I walked across all the streets in Narok, talking to the people, and I was joined by hundreds of people who came in. The police came in and escorted me out of the town. So what was okay? wrong? I mean, so how listen, come it was peaceful so in Narok? for him, it was peaceful because this illegitimate regime of this fellow, you know, and that's why I keep on saying, you know, uh, the, the, the guy in the, who is currently occupying the office of the president, he's surrounded by stupid fellows like him. You cannot, every single time, come in and say, we will shoot to kill, okay? We will use every means. Let me tell you, Jeff, I do not want to come and sit here with somebody trying to play a saint when he knows very well that all those policies were led by him and his government. Why is it that nobody was hurt in Arok? Why did we walk peacefully? Why? Okay? And so, because and so. of common sense, because the police in Arok behaved. So you're saying there's no okay? common sense in Nairobi and other towns? No, what is happening is this. It is either their way or the highway. So they say, they, you had, you had Ruto saying, I will not allow anybody to, to demonstrate. He's now suspending the constitution, suspending article 37. If these people don't know, the Constitution, we will continue educating them until they get to know. SG. Jeff, it is sad today that in Kitengela, the capital, the economic hub of the Maasai today, uh, okay. we have supermarkets vandalized. And people Eastmart. died. People died. People dying. Eastmart supermarket in Kitengela they, they, is they vandalized. They cost all that. They cost all that. Let, that. Let, okay. Just wait. Let, let me execute you my case. Cannot, no, we cannot be both you. talking. Huh? You cannot catch yes. a yes. hungry lion. People are tired. People are hungry. Okay. People are desperate. Let, I mean, let's be factual. Okay, here. let him finish. Let's his look point. at it this way. Let, let me finish, finish my point. point. No, no, no. He was talking about Eastmart. Jeff, you will, you'll have to let me finish my point because you've asked me. He's talking about Eastmart. Yes. And I've just told you, you cannot cage an angry lion. It will come out there and try to defend itself. You increase fuel levy. When you increase fuel levy, the court says, suspend that act. But you think you're above the law, you continue implementing it. Everything goes up. You know, Kenyans, 70% of Kenyans, get a salary of between 10 and 30,000 shillings. You increase 1.5, you come in and say, oh, I want to build houses for you. Who told you a private good ought to be interfered with? If a, if a bird can build its own house, you think Kenyans cannot build their own houses? All right, we're getting no? off the point here. You're, I mean, okay, it's ridiculous. Okay, finish your point about East Martin. Jeff, all those things uh, he's talking about can make sense if they're debated on the right platform and if ideas are encapsulated in the right documents as a presentation for implementation. But I was talking about Eastmart. Today, Eastmart in Kitengela, 
the economic hub of Masai. They send goons. Was vandalized. They send goons. Tomorrow morning, as we wake up, 162 Masai do not have jobs because East Mart. No, is give me a break. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Masai don't work you know, in East Mart. You know, Masai you know, are busy. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not becoming it, shopkeepers. Don't you know? You know? You know? You know, you know compare these, apples these, to apples. Don't you know, come in and compare you know, bananas are, to apples. You know? You know? If you are, no, these, these, are these are figurative no, examples. It is not figurative examples. Figurative examples. Be factual. And, and we're and, not here and, for and figurative. You see, you see, you know, you know. Jeff, don't the forget, problem he's, is a this. he's a teacher. So. Is that, you know, this this boy thinks that we are here for drama. The situation out there is lethal. It is bad. People are suffering. It is not a drama scene. He thinks he's writing a play for high school students. What is happening on the on the streets is painful. People are sleeping hungry. They don't care. They are busy lining their own pockets. You know, they care more about their SUVs than the people who are desperate in the streets. Every single policy that they come up with only cares about themselves. And I'll, and I'll demonstrate. So Kenyans are tired. Whatever happened today is a manifestation of how Kenyans are tired, they are sick, it is not about trial. Okay, but uh, if, if Kenyans SG, are tired, it's, and it's just not, it's, it's not just Azimio who are protesting. No. By the way. even Kenya Kwanzaa protesters were out there. Kenyans today, in general. Today, today we saw two types of demonstration, mm. and the constitution is very clear as to the definition of a demonstration. It must be peaceful. We must not have armed people in a demonstration. Those are goons from Muda. And period. Today we had Matatu operators demonstrating all the way from Mombasa to Kakamega. You, you didn't see police officers going to harass. Who tell you? Who, to, who told you that those people who are demonstrating were not Matatu operators? It only becomes chaotic when the police start shooting. You know, when you know, goons you know, who are you know, sent you know, out there start shooting. Okay, let me finish the point. I, I want I want my brother to turn down. Stop shouting yourself. I'm not horse, shouting. Relax. I'm, being, I'm very calm. Execute your points in a relaxed Trust manner. Trust me, I do. And it's but not a I'm shouting just match. I'm tired of this hypocritism. Okay, you know? let him finish it's the point. It's ridiculous. Go on. Um, my point is, huh? the finance bill has been suspended by the High Court. Yeah. And therefore, you know very well that we are waiting for the adjudication of that matter so that we know whether we shall implement the finance bill or not. And You're therefore, already even, it. Even, even as we wait for that, it does not qualify the actions of Azimio mobilizing young people risking their lives, going to a, a highway that we have not even finished paying. We borrowed money to construct the, 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 the super highway. We've not finished paying. They have gone there vandalizing without being threatened, without being uh, oh. uh, provoked. You saw that. Give and you, saw, you know very well. <laughs> I, want, I want to ask my brother Olekina, what's the difference between you, who mobilizes people to go and vandalize critical infrastructure like the superhighway next to the airport, when we have a president Listen. of another country visiting, knowing that he's going to use that superhighway, what is the difference between Jeff, you and, and, and a terrorist? Jeff, these What's are... The between okay, you let, me tell you, let me answer. Okay, hold on. Let, me, let me respond to him. Real quick, real quick. They are the real terrorist hiding. Let me tell you. You're each, call, a ship. You're each calling each other terrorists. And I'll be very honest with you, because I have been in almost 50 demonstrations in this country. 50. Every time they bring police, it becomes chaotic. But you said they you had know, police in Nara. Every, every had Today, let me tell you, if I didn't stand my <laughs> ground, if I didn't stand my ground and the people surrounded, those police would have been used. But they use common sense. So they you're knew saying, very you're well. saying you saved okay. the rioters. You saved of the, course. But, 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 the one. Of course. We, the, right. the rioters saved me as well. But, but, but Jeff, okay. before, even before so, you break. Even, so put it this, no, even before that. Let sir. me put it this way. But even let before say what he's saying. The issue here is this. These guys are the ones who are planting goons. We get, we got into Everyone's accusing everyone. They are the ones goons. who are planting oh. them. You said the same Every thing. time yeah, they yeah. leave Azimio to demonstrate, I, no, no problem. I, I, I told you, it's not about. The people who we, are stealing today, were those Azimio? You know, Did you see Raila Molo Dinga out there? Don't, don't come you know, and take you know, us as food. You know, it's not about. Huh? Who, I mean, who, who mobilized or who did not mobilize. But you're just saying that results, we, we mobilized. The results it is of you today's guys. action. If you didn't call for demonstration today, we would not have lost nine lives. 
if you did call, right call for today, demonstration, we do not we have tourists going back to their to their to their home countries because Olekina and his allies have organized demonstration. Masai is suffering. Oh, they are waiting for tourists Masai to be is, there. Masai's don't Gentlemen, suffer. Trust me. I got to take a break. Masai's don't suffer. I got to take Masai's a break. Masai's plan their actions and they speak. They say the truth. What you're doing here is so. If you're chasing away tourists, by the way, I wonder. Okay. I wonder what the Iranian president and his delegation think of what's going on. It's ridiculous. It's bad. This guy. At least you, you agree saw, on something. You saw. You saw his president At least going out there and saying, "Okay, he's saying, oh, I will not allow them." Who are you? You're not above the law. All right, folks. I think I need to uh, get this extinguisher ready. We're going to take a break. Come back. Plenty more ahead. We have some angry senators in the house and SG as well. What do we do? We need calm heads to prevail. Exactly. What's the way forward? Calm down. What's the end game? Let logic prevail. There's no logic. Let logic prevail. Keep yeah. tweeting at Kranaka Jeff, at Citizen TV King, the hashtag. Check it live. Check it live. Take a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Show off your best skin with Nivea Nourishing Cocoa Body Lotion. Now with 5-in-1 Complete Care.